Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share something with you, my finds at the Pasadena Bead and Design Show. So um, I uh, purchased quite a few things there and mostly jewelry for myself. I rarely buy jewelry for myself. Normally it's given to me. Um, if I buy something, it's like uh, statement pieces or fashion jewelry. And I haven't done that for years, but this visit to the Pasadena show, I found many things that I wanted. And so I pampered myself, I bought presents for myself. So the very first thing that caught my eye there is this piece. So this piece is made by Roy. Um, I met him a few years back when I was at the show and I saw him again this year. This is Roy. He's the one who hand wire wrap all of his pieces. And uh, a few of the things that was on display are these bracelets. And all of his shells are from the shores of the Philippines. And so I just love that. It just reminds me so much of home. And here are the other pieces that was on display. I will post these pictures on my Facebook if I haven't done that already. But this is just stunning and I cannot wait to wear this. Um, summer, spring, um, it is just appropriate for that season. So if you notice, let me take this off from here. The focal pieces are these shell, are these beads, and they are from the, uh, the nautilus, the shell that's called the chambered nautilus. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that because I managed to um, <laughs> borrow from uh, Roy the 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 chambered nautilus so this is it this is the chambered nautilus isn't that beautiful and this beautiful creature lives in the uh, open ocean um so i bought a few of the beads not much because they're kind of expensive, oops, because I somehow need to make a pair of earrings to go with these. And so there's a few pieces. I actually only have like 10. So um, I would like to, thank you, I would like to list um, maybe four of these as uh, supplies on my Etsy. Just so any one of you who wants to see it in person can have that. So, the chambered nautilus. And I went online and researched that. And this is how it looks like. Look at that. They are a family of squid and octopus. But the tentacles, they have about 90 tentacles on there. And uh, inside this chamber, they retreat when they're threatened. So the USS Nautilus, I guess, is um, named after this beautiful creature because they can hover in water. They don't go in the, in the bed of the ocean. They hover in the ocean. Um, because inside this chamber, there are chambers here and it retains gases that makes them float in the water like that. So Roy actually also had one cut up open just to show 
This is just to show to his, um, to the customers that go in his booth. So as you can see, this is the chambers. This is the inside of the Nautilus. And this middle part there, this is this shell. So isn't that amazing? For one Nautilus, I think you can only have two of those beads. So for myself, I hope they stop doing this. I hope they stop fishing the Nautilus. Otherwise, there, there will not be any left in the ocean. So to make the earrings, that's what I'm going to show you today. It takes two minutes or less to make earrings. All you need is head pin, uh, the earring lever back, which is my favorite, and, and chain nose and uh, round nose pliers. So let me show that to you up close. You can make many, many earrings and it doesn't have to be with this bead. It can be any bead. So I'm gonna show you quickly how fast you can make earrings like this in less than two minutes. So uh, I'm going to make the other pair for this and uh, we're going to make uh, other, using other beads just to show you if you don't know that already. You need round nose, chain nose, and a cutter. And you need the, oops, the earring findings and some beads. I'm thinking of using the pearl to go with those beads. They are just random beads that are lying around, but they can make beautiful earrings after you're done with it. So, I'm going to finish the other pair for that earring because this is so simple. All you have to do is thread it into your bead, and I'm using the Nautilus bead, and then you just take your the tip of your chain nose like that and bend it into like an L shape. You take your round nose so you see how it has a little neck right there. Okay, you're going to wrap your wire around that. So I just bend it like this. I will reposition my pliers and then bring that around the neck so now it looks like that and before you close it or twist it around you need to put it in the earring finding so now it's like this okay so then I am going to hold the tip of it the circle part of it with my chain nose so I can wrap it around I am going to hold the tip of this wire so that you have more control and more grip and then just wire wrap around that One more, there's still a little, little space there that we need to fill, and you're done. Okay, see that? So take your cutter and just go in as close as possible, and then there's something sticking out, just kind of like. Uh, smooth it out like so. Let me see. Now it's done. Now you have a finished earring. Now I have two earrings. I mean, a pair. <laughs> okay, so let's do the other one. Let's do this quickly. So these are just like random beads that I have. If you come into my studio, you will find tons of beads, but then you need to just dig around <laughs> because it's messy. Uh, 
You know when you're creative, you're supposed to be super messy. <laughs> you believe that? Okay, here we go. Let's do the same thing. All the shape. Take the round nose. If you notice, I'm not using any paper beads. So these are non-paper bead items. So they are alien. So they are my alien tutorials. If that makes sense. I think I had too much coffee this morning. Actually had coffee around noon. Oh darn, see? I forgot to put this thing in. This, I think this thing opens, so let's try that. Sometimes you make mistakes for a reason. You believe that? That's how you learn, I think. So, Maybe that part of the part of the earring wire opens up, so then I don't have to worry about that. So let me see. I hope I'm not going to break this. Uh, okay, I think I see a little opening. Oopsie, I'm right, it opens, and then you just put it there. I still pre prefer the other way where you would insert it before wire wrapping it, but you can also do it this way. See? Okay. So, there you have it. Then we just need to make the other one. And then you have... See how simple it is to make earrings? You can just match any outfit. So that's the fun part of beading. Till next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, one more thing. I want to share the love. And we have the finished earrings now. And this is actually made of really good quality findings. These are silver. And that's uh, Chris Swarovski, and that's a gemstone and pearls. So I am going to do a raffle. Um, so leave me a comment, um, and and by the end of the week, um, I will announce who won this uh, pair of earrings, uh, or go to my Facebook page. And um, I don't know yet how, <laughs> but anybody who leave, leaves me a comment on YouTube and on Facebook will have a chance to win this pair of earrings. Thanks again.